Hello, hello guys, I am Jack Tricken and be welcome to my channel. This is more, one more Guild War guide. So today let's talk about healers and why the healers are important. So let's take a look. Uh, first thing, the last video I posted about Guild War, uh, it's kind of part one of this video because I show how archers work. So if you don't see that, take a look on the last video, okay? Uh, then I will show the same fights, but the healer's perspective. So uh, you guys need to understand, uh, this is about how to build your defenses, okay? So let's take a look. Here is a defense that I attack and there is no healers. Of course, there is a lot of damage, as you guys can see here, uh, a lot of damage and a Dolores. She do a little healer, uh, but not enough for sure. Uh, so, in this kind uh, of defenses with no healers, it's really easy to kill uh, the monsters, the, uh, the defenders, right? So, you guys will see, just need to send the archers or mages or anyone else, the, the fighters, for example, and they will kill. Unless, of course, you have enough damage to kill everyone really, really, really fast. But uh, in most cases, it doesn't happen. Take a look at that, guys. Uh, the archers here just killed this dragon. So uh, after I did and kill these dragons, the defense was almost fall, uh, fall out, right? So and close to kill, uh, this another guy nocturne then too. The, that's why uh, I really recommend to have a healer. So let's see more fast here. I send uh, right now my my guys that have a really good attack and the dogs so they what will they do they will do uh ziluto right now as you guys can see because ziluto have no healer right so that's it and that's why this guy lost these fights this defense was not that good uh without healers so that's why it's important because sometimes you can ask why uh, healers are really important if I can have a lot of damage. And that's why. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, let's just take one more look here to finish this video uh, about how healers uh, really works uh, in this other example here. Let me find that here. Here is, uh, here is a defense uh, where I try again to send my archers to kill this Hatsu, right? This Hatsu here, but this time he have a healer here uh, with a range. So that's what works. Uh, what not works actually. <laughs> yeah, you guys can see here the archers uh, and they will do damage here on this guy. But as he starts to do damage, what happens? Simple like that, they will be healed, and then they don't die, uh, and then the archers will die because the archers is really uh, really weak in terms of HP and defense, right? So they just die. Uh, you guys can see. Then I send these flyer guys here to do a, a little more damage here uh, on Hatsu, but again, they do damage. They he get healed and doesn't die. Uh, and that's it guys, it's simple like that. That's why a good defense for your team uh, needs to have a healer to make sure your team will not die for a single, uh, a single archers, okay? <laughs> yeah, and that's it guys, this is a defense guide. I hope that uh, helps you to take uh, so less loss, Vamos, let's say, like that okay so that's it for today i hope you guys enjoy don't forget to like this video and subscribe and i see you in the next one and bye bye